Only my place is better than here. Right? We're live, guys. Shh. <laughs> oh dear, this is funny. Right. Ow. Walking into my own stuff. You know, Mon, you would think you'd be better at this by now, wouldn't you? Right, let's... Some big anything to the right. <laughs> I suppose you're normally in chat, so it's not really a big problem, is it? Um, okay, that's all right. That big egg thing is the, the ender egg that we got. I sort of demolished it. Where's it gone? Oh my god, you nicked my egg. It's moved, isn't it? I don't know, I touched it and it disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So it's like a frame. No, they, they teleport to a new location oh, every time you touch them. No, you can't pick them up. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> you didn't tell me you'd done like, oh that. My god. That's cheeky. I thought, oh my god, I'm breaking his already. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm wetting myself. Oh, Rady Cat subscribed with a tier one. Oh, that's fantastic. For three months in a row. Rady Cat, you must be out there in chat somewhere. Oh, there you are. Hello. Being subscribed for three months. Hey there, Rady Cat. Oh, it's really nice to have you in chat. Um, I don't know if anyone else is out there at the moment. I'm just like uh, getting myself ready. Um, I was just loading myself up. Oh, and I've got another sub from Beck as well, tier one. Two months now. Hey, you guys are really nice. I don't know what to do without you guys. Right, I'm just. Hello, Iceberg. How the devil are you? Hey. Uh, oh, it must be really early out there. Because uh, Iceberg's in the States. Oh. I didn't expect to see you, mate. It's really good you've come by, though. I'm really excited by that. I am just going to do a cheeky post in somebody else's Discord channel to uh, tell everyone I'm there. I'm here, I should say. Um, helps if I turn my caps off. I seem to be shouting all the time. Self promo. Put my link. And then I will be with you and ready to go. So, are you ready? It's, oh, it's 10.05 a.m. Oh, okay, that's not so bad then. On a Sunday morning. It's three o'clock Sunday afternoon here. Right, let's get that off the screen. And I'm ready. I'm here. Hello guys and welcome. We have a a Halo Phoenix here somewhere. I heard your voice. Where are you? Hello. I've been exploring. You've been exploring? Mm -hmm. Oh okay. Mm -hmm. Have you found my new house? Building? Yes, I have. Okay. So I'm gonna come I'm gonna come around and have a look. Because I've build, been building this guys while offline. Oh it's getting dark. I hope there's a bed around here somewhere. I'm going to need that. I, I built this thing here and I keep walking into the bushes when I come round here now. So it's going to... Like... I'll have to like reset the bed. I guess some sleep. So I've been building this thing right next to spawn. Uh, I'll come and find Halo in a minute. And we've got... I found another cat that's outside here. She's like really awesome and cool. Stream is slightly laggy. Uh, yeah, probably is going to be. I'm all right this end at the moment. I'm not getting any warnings. So it's probably like a combination of... I've got a bit of a new setup going on here at the moment. Right, so let's go in here and have a look, see what we got. Oh my goodness, who the heck is this? Oh my God. Becca and Ray with Halo. What are you girls doing in here? I don't know. <gasps> you speak, oh, Becca. Speak. Oh, hello, Ray. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear Ray. You're 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 very quiet because of your mic, aren't you? Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah. So people are going to have to listen very carefully. So, yeah. Oh wow. Um, Iceberg, say hello to Ray and Becca. Oh, somebody just put a torch in my face. Who's that? <laughs> Who wants a torch? There I go. Have a torch. <laughs> Iceberg says. Iceberg says hello. Hello. Yeah, so guys, this is going to be like one of the main spawn shops I'm building. And you may notice on the wall over there, there is a blast furnace and what is it? A weaponsmith thing? Right behind you there, Halo, on the wall. Yeah. Next to this big furnace which is going, which I thought looked quite cool with the Neverack. It's got a bit of lava in there as well. A lot of chicken. There are a lot of chickens just out the back here. So this is going to be like a little shop. We're going to have four different villagers live in here. So I'm just going to squeeze past Ray because out the back, when this is finished, there's going to be a stone cutter and a is it a weapon smith or something? Yeah. For the grindstone. Yeah. Yeah, it's a weapon smith. So they're like all those professions under one roof. So you like be able to come in here and buy stuff. And they're going to build some other shops that are similar to this. And it's like to start getting to the place. This is the reason you hear so many chickens. They're all in here. This is like the factory chicken farm. Which is like full of chickens. Loads and loads and loads and loads and loads That's of chickens. a lot of chickens. Yeah. So, Iceberg, you're probably wondering how on earth we almost get on one computer at once. Or in one world at once. Well, you probably already realise so we do now have our server up and running and it's been uploaded onto a hosting service that i've got and this is sort of a proof of concept so there's just the four of us right now becca and ray have agreed to help out with the testing with me and halo and we're going to be building this up, testing out the mod packs and all the different things that are on here. And you guys look super brilliant behind me there. That's like pretty fantastic. Like get a screenshot of you guys there. That might be a stream video. There we go. So um, I'm really interested in what you guys have been up to. Now I think Becca you're the closest to us here from Spawn. Yes. Uh, I haven't finished building my house though. Right, so, well no, that's fine because, you know, did you hear that Hermitcraft have started Hermitcraft 7 or they're about to start a new year? Sorry, I don't know if you've just cut out. Oh, sorry. Or if you asked a question. Um, I asked you guys, did you know that we, uh, Hermitcraft have now started their seventh season? Yeah, no. It's like Yep, so Ray heard that. Um, yep, they're starting season seven. They've just ended season six. I haven't six. actually in. Ah, right. So um, they are just about to start on 1.15.2, which is what this world is in. So we're ahead of them. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to grab a bed because I reckon I'm probably going to need that. And I'm also going to grab my chest of stuff without breaking it for once makes a change for me so should we go and see your place Bex and you can give us a little bit of a tour and then maybe we'll go check out Ray's yeah um, it's basically a shell <laughs> I, I think we can walk to yours can't we Bex today. yeah okay follow me I want to make a nice path Yeah, so we've, we've, I've actually got the economy server at the moment. The economy <laughs> server? Yeah, because obviously I'm relying on people's subs and stuff. Um, <laughs> Are you with me, Halo? I'm with you. I'm glad people know where they're going because I'm lost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the start of the house. Ooh, two-storey house. That's huge. I don't know what to do for the roof yet, just yet. Right. So, but this is it so far. Sorry, Ray. Have a roof terrace. 
A roof terrace. Oh, looking out over the all the water and everything. Oh, that would be quite nice. Yeah. Because when Optifine comes out, we can get rid of the clouds and we can like watch the sunset. Because the sun sets over in that direction as well. Yeah. Hello there, Enigma. How the heck are you? Lovely to see you in stream. Oh, really nice. Oh, and I see you've got your, much, yeah. got your pets. I've got my dog. Nameless. But nameless at the moment. Yeah, mine hasn't got a name tag on it at the moment. Spruce. You usually go for different versions of pancakes. Like pancake crepe. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's how I name them. Pancake day pancakes. on Tuesday. Yeah. Favorite filling. What's people's favorite fillings for pancakes? I'm interested from chat as well. Want to know? I like the so, thing. So I'm either super basic, which is just sprinkling of sugar and a bit of lemon juice, yeah. or smother in maple syrup with banana. The sharpest lemon possible. What? What if I don't like pancakes? Well, what about American pancakes? Has any of you guys had American pancakes, the thick ones? Yeah, like the Scottish ones are quite close to it because they are quite thick and fluffy. They're just oh, a lot smaller. Okay. Yeah, I've, I used to have the thick ones quite a bit. Um, so I used to be a just a lemon and sugar. And then when I met you, Halo, and your mum, she introduced me to what what filling is it? Cherry pie filling and ice cream. Cherry pie filling. So you do it like a wrap, cherry pie. Um, <laughs> just like cherries in syrup, isn't it? Yeah. That you put in the middle and then ice cream with it. I was like, oh my God. Where Tinkerbell loves Nutella and he loves them. Oh yeah, yeah, she likes Nutella in them. Very nice. Mm. So I like this, you've got a basement. Can I be I've nosy? I've just started putting it in. So it's a oh, okay. Ceiling. And then a little cave down there. Right, okay, cool. So I'll yep. probably put another like layer in here, like a lab with all my brewing stuff. A secret so laboratory. Yes. <laughs> so that's so what they like. Halo the lights. Kitchen, like area with the furnaces, and then upstairs will be the bedroom. Wow. It is huge. Um, I like the fact you've used the spruce logs as a floor. You like the fact that I've what? Used the spruce logs as a floor texture. There's a yeah, lot of people. A lot of people will just use planks or it's, I think it's the thing everyone thinks they're going to use as a default. Yeah, I've been using like planks for so long that I get bored of them. Yeah. So I try to use like the logs and different kinds of stone. Yeah, because I've been using here. the uh, birch wood stripped to for the tops of the houses over in the spawn area. That's the style I'm going to go with. Don't it's know crazy. What to do, I, like what material for the roof? But we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, I was crazy. I I went to start to go to use spruce, and then if you look around here, um, sorry, not spruce, birch wood. There's very little in the way of birch trees around here. And there is some over on the hill that way, so to the south. Yeah. Let's see. I had yeah, I had, I had to go all the way out there, and I I, I went and stole some trees and started to, like getting some saplings going and stuff, so that we've got some around the area. Oh, this is cool. The sun setting. <laughs> yeah, so faces the sunset. Nice. I'll stand at the back here. I can see you all watching the sunset. That's really cool. So, have any of you guys seen my video on the server guy? You have. Yeah. Not like yet. I've seen it as well. Cool. So th this is what I think it's all about. It's about bringing people together, working together, and like the teams and everything, and doing this stuff. That's really good. 
Right, the sun's going down, so I've got to chuck a bed down. You don't mind if I sleep in your house, do you? Go ahead. I just bring my own bed. That's fine. Oh no, it's raining. We've got no roof. Uh, it's all right. Oh, the rain goes. Okay, so Ray, uh, I think we're going to need some boats by the looks of it, because you're holding a boat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Right. Has every has anyone got any boats? Let me have a look in my. Uh, no, I don't even have any wood. I'll make my... three. You can make three. Ah. Does anyone else need a boat? Yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, there's one over here. Should I grab this one? I've got one. Fine. Ah, excellent. Everyone, choose a boat. Oh, oh, I seem to have got oh, in the back hello. with Beck. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. There we go. Don't, don't people talking. We're getting in trouble with Halo. <laughs> oh. Right, go for it, guys. I'll follow you along. Oh, I'm coming out on the steering wheel. Oh, that, no, I'm not oh, that dear. good either. So, Off into the horizon now. Yeah. <laughs> directly west of spawn. Oh, okay. So. I said to Ray that you could have all the oceans, so you're going to be like the, the queen of the ocean. Oh, okay. Wow, we are I bet this, this looks really good when it's dark as well. Yeah. I'd have to make a surface level of all glass. Over the reef, yeah, which would be like shop home side. Because I love the idea that um, you've taken the challenge, of, like building out in the ocean area. Because when we got this update, so many people said, "Oh, it's going to be brilliant. We're going to build all this. We're going to do all that." And you watch people's videos and that, and there's very little that has got. Um, people building out in the ocean at all so i think this is fantastic you're actually doing this and yes iceberg i did mean to put the title as who is this with like weird lettering <laughs> it just happened to happen because i was like I did yeah but i thought actually it's gonna look quite funny like that now right and shift get out of the boat I haven't built a yet. Living. You're, you're living a bit like a desert island at the moment. In a cave. Yeah. I'm not not even in a cave. <laughs> this is cool. You've got quite a lot of bamboo, um, sugar cane going. Yeah, which is really good. Only two pieces for my land. Wow, that's really good. That's and you've obviously been getting some iron because I can see you've got a blast, some blast furnaces over here. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've mined quite a lot in terms wow. of diamonds, and I've only found six, but I've found over three stacks of iron. Three stacks of iron. Yeah. That's really good going. The redstone's going to be really good. So I've got plenty of lapis and diamonds there. That's really good going. I'm impressed. This is cave. I'm just, I'm just being is. like really nosy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got your own end portal as well. Oh, cool. A little water oh, thing. Yeah, it's the uh, air. Ah, now I have a question for you. When you ha when you go AFK, do you use the auto clicker? Yes, I use yours. Yes, she uses my auto clicker. Yes. <laughs> um, do you know about that, Becca? No. So, probably a number of years ago, Exuma started a auto clicker for doing like different things. It's just a script program that automatically clicks and does stuff while you're AFK. Yes. 
and he approached me probably about three or four months ago and said could I help out with modifying the code and that because I'd, I'd already spoken to him a couple of times so we updated and released a new version which allows you to go um, do automatic fishing while you're away mob farms concrete all that sort of thing so right. it's gonna be interesting because um, actually in the next month or two I'm actually going to be putting out uh, a new version of it which will be a lot more easier to use a bit more you'll be able to adjust the the times between the clicks and stuff ready cat and also people are asking about having multiple accounts and all sorts of things so we're going to be adding more functionality to it so it's going to be really cool yeah the way it works is that you i don't know if ray you can show uh if you've got a fishing rod but what you do is you um, right click your fishing rod on the, the pressure plate and when it does that it causes the trapdoor to go up and because there's a source block of water here eventually a fish will come in and you'll catch it with the fish and at the moment the, the fishing rod pulls the, the fish out of the water the pressure plate lifts, the trapdoor shuts, which resets the fishing rod, and then you recast again, like that, and you start fishing again. And your items, rather than ending up in your inventory, end up being dropped into the hopper underneath you. All right. My storage is down. Storage is down here. So, what sorts of things have you found then, Rady Cat? I found a couple of the rod. Oh, yeah. she's she's cutting out a little bit. Yeah, just slightly. So yeah, I mean, there's some really good stuff like puffer fish, but there's like a bow here, power free bow with unbreaking on it. Another one with power four, a flame bow. Oh, what have you given me? Oh, it's a fishing rod with luck of the sea, lure to mending and unbreaking. That's really good. Was that one you found or one you made? That's got fish. So is that one you actually managed to fish out the water? Yeah. That's brilliant. That's fantastic. Uh, no worry, guys. If you go go for breakfast, that's cool. <laughs> So you can actually collect lots of random different items that you wouldn't normally see. Good afternoon, Loz. Uh, so, um, just so people know, Loz is your friend at work, isn't he, Halo? He is. You know him, and he's a gamer as well. He is, check out his streams. Yeah, he does some awesome streams. So that's really good, Ray, that you've managed to collect all that stuff from going out of camp. Really impressed. That's really good because you've, you've literally, time, yeah, you've literally, you guys have only been on the server like um, this morning. Yeah, like, and I think Ray, you were on about three or four hours yesterday. Yeah. You <laughs> It's the fact that you've done all of this. I'm, I'm going to go down and have a look at the how far you've managed to dig. Because actually doing all this as stairs as well and digging this out, it all takes time. That's really good going. I like how you've mixed the textures. Yeah. Like for the stairs. Oh, this is very neat and tidy. So you can strip mining already. Wow. Very busy. It, yeah. You, you, if you need anyone for, to help you with strip mining, Halo's good. Halo loves strip mining. <laughs> if ever you want to come down and do the next desert again. I'm in person. Yeah, you guys need to chat. I'm oh, these bits here, yeah, stuff. these these are already prepped, ready yeah. to go. I'll be back in a day. Good race. <laughs> Race. Well, in a race, what, what, I've got an efficiency four, fortune three, I'm breaking free. 
And there's a I lot have of a them. half dead uh, iron picks. <laughs> I have a totally dead one. <laughs> um, I have a nearly dead diamond. Nearly dead diamond. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, because um, I don't know if you guys can see my screen. I don't know if you guys have been watching the stream, but I've got the the textures that show the items slowly breaking. So your pick has got slightly discolored on one end. Oh yeah, that's so cool. As they wear down, they they change their shape on them. And it's like Becca's wearing iron armor. So this is the new iron armor that I've been designing and putting in. It's really cool, actually. I, I think it's really good. I've been looking at it on stream and admiring it. Yeah, so I'm going to get get this over there to you guys so you can use it as well. So yeah, Loz, you need to come and play Minecraft. Yay! <gasps> he has a sandwich. He has a sandwich. What have you got? What sort of sandwich? We'll judge you on we the filling. Judge you. <laughs> judge you on the filling, yeah. We will judge you. <laughs> come on then. Come on then, Loz. What have you got? I'm telling you if you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone very quiet. He's like, oh no. What exciting stuff we've got on Either that or there's a massive long delay. <laughs> He's like making something up. Fish paste or something. Fish paste? I don't know. Is that a thing? Fish paste? Fish paste, I suppose Wonder. so. I've seen it in the... Bet it's a BLT or something. Uh, BLT. He's a gamer. It should be like a real rough neck. Steak. Massive like rough neck. Massive rough neck. I feel like I should give you my my um, pickaxe as a gift for moving in. You should. Yay! There you go. You can have my pickaxe. Now you can get back one. Yep, well, I've got this one. I've got this. I got. I make all your stuff. So I got this for Becca. Look, it's a shiny sword. Would you like a nice shiny gold sword? That would go lovely with your armor. Yeah? Sure. Yeah? Um, yes. So I should tell people what's on it. Um, well, no, no, no. I'll, I'll give it to you, and I'll let you read out what's on it. Ooh, nice one! It got bloody three, sharpness four, unbreaking three, and mending. Yeah, it's a really good sword. That's a pretty good, decent short sword. Thank you. No worries. It's fine now. <laughs> <laughs> You have You're not to go. It back. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I've got 50 levels at the moment, and I've also been playing a while. And I tend to use this smite sword because I get a lot of zombies coming around. And I do have a silk touch pickaxe with mending on it, so I'm probably going to use that for now. Um, oh yeah, we need to get Loz on Minecraft. We need to get you on the PC version, so so you can come join on the server, so you can play. Not not that. PlayStation stuff. What? Uh, PlayStation, what Xbox, PlayStation? Minecraft, Bedrock stuff. We need to get him on a PC so he can come on here and join in. Okay. Yes. Um, it looks like it's probably dark outside, so I'm just I'm going to do the same. I, I just feel like this is like part of my thing. Like I'm just going to sleep in everyone's base. <laughs> As you do. Oh, you're too slow. Oh, don't worry, I got it. Oh, okay. Uh, right. Um, oh, so for other PCs set up, this is now. Me oh, you're talking on your PC at the moment. Ah, oh, that's excellent. Right, we'll get him. We'll get him in. We'll get him joining in. So we've got a expert digger and miner, queen of the ocean, Rady Cat. You're going to be the assistant. Oh, you're another miner. Of course, you're going to be like coming and helping out. Yep. And Becca, we don't want to argue with now because she's got an uber fantastic source. <laughs> <laughs> don't so anger the Scottish woman. I know. No, that's it. She's she, you're, you're proper um, brave heart now, aren't you? <laughs> I know. It's like that's pretty cool. I'm going to have to get. A, I'm going to come in a bit. Oh, hang on. I'll tell you what I do. Um, F1. And escape, and let's get my let's just change my video options because ah, where have I gone? Where is it? Oh, there it is, it's up there. Because if you change your field of view down to about 45, 
Then you actually get some really nice images that you can take. Where, where's where's Halo gone? Oh, you're over there. Come over here. Stand in the middle. All right. Practice. You might want to take your axe out the middle of people. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna walk away for a sec. Bear with, because I have a tendency of hitting people with swords. Reverse. <laughs> Reverse. <laughs> oh, cool. oh, it's really funny. Oh, no. oh. Right, wait. That, that's that's it. it. That's it. Don't move. Don't move. I'm not. Right, everyone, oh, no. wait, wait, keep wait, your wait. eyes open. I I love I love the eye colors, green, blue, and brown. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna back up a bit so I can get ready. three different hair colors too. Yeah, three different yeah. color hair colors. Do you want to take your hat off? Or do you want to leave it on, Beck? Uh, I'll leave it on. Right. Okay. There we go. It's the like crew. The Minecraft of Charlie's Angels. Charlie's, Charlie's Angels. Angels. <laughs> oh, very nice. <laughs> I don't know if you're Mon PJC's angels. I don't think that's something I can really say. No, I don't really. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh dear. Right, what I'll do is I'll actually get that as a proper picture and uh, get it in stream for you guys. <laughs> yeah, Enigma says cute. <laughs> I'm going to be in trouble um. with you guys now, aren't I? I can tell. Yeah, we're going to come see your stuff and be like, okay, question. <laughs> Looks like you guys are about to drop a stick mixtape or something. <laughs> Sick mixtape. It's awesome. Right, okay. Right, let's um, do this. I suppose, well, I've got some more building to do, and I guess that's what people really tune in to watch me do. So you guys, well, you can either join in, watch, cause havoc, do whatever you like. Um, well, I'm going to grab my boat. And oh, my boat's out there in the water. And I head back. Go back by the nether port. Oh. Oh. Because it's not linked out properly. Oh, okay. Oh. So is the nether portal linking you back to my one then? Yep. Wow. Ah, uh, that's cool. That's quite some distance to link that. Oh, Becca's taking her boat. That's a good idea. Well, I would take it, but it's not gone into my inventory. Oh, it's down there in the That's bottom of the water. Littering. Probably. You're littering the sea. You'll get in trouble with her. Oh. It's coming uh, up. I'll, I'll manage. I'll survive without the boat. It's coming. Sorry, I grabbed it. There you go. Have your boat back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, no, we're going into the never. That's never a good idea. Halo always tells me off for doing this. It's like... You always send me somewhere that's scary. Oh wow, that's really weird. This way, other side. Oh, oh there's I a scary hear... gas somewhere. I can hear ghasts. Oh, there's a ghast. No, can't see him. Can't see him anywhere. So, just, I've no plans for the never as such at the moment once we get 116 available then we'll have a look at how Whoa. we can um reset stuff so where is um mon's portal so you just go straight back through this one uh oh, oh shit. uh let's oh, get shit. back in <laughs> stand in the pool frame and then we're gonna fall out my door on the way out oh no oh no Oh, we're all stuck. Oh, it's, no. Ah, ah no. 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 Oh, no. I I'm just, just going to stand still. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm out. Hey, load, turn around, come the other way. That's it. <laughs> beep, beep. We lost Brady Cat. Where's she gone? Oh, no. I think she stayed back. Did she? Know. Where is she? I don't know. She was behind me. Are you there, Ray? Yeah, I'm ah. gonna build my own nether portal. Ah, right, okay, you're uh, gonna do your own nether portal. No worries at all. Mm, right, so, uh, yeah, I guess I better get on with doing some proper building stuff now, then, did not I? I need to finish my house. 
to finish your house. Try not to stab myself with berries. Yeah, I stand you building this chimney on the back halo. What do you think? It's not too bad, is it? I thought I wanted something a lot more industrial looking going up the back there. That would be quite good. So, part of my plan is, is that when people arrive on the server here, or they come to this area, that they have a number of shops and buildings supplying various materials. So, we've got the iron farm and the wood farm and everything over here. Oh, you scared me. I turned around. I nearly impaled myself on your sword. Careful. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then over here, this is going to be like the... What did I put in here? I put in all the different people and stuff. We've got to name the cat. Name the cat. Should I go and get some name tags for the... Oh, I've got name What's tags here, name? I think. We're going to name the cat. Uh, not got them in there. Got it. Phoenix one. Phoenix the first. <laughs> uh, then you're a phoenix. Where did I put my name tags? <gasps> I, I think this one. I have <gasps> He's got Doom on pre-order. Who's got Doom on pre-order? Ah, oh, Doom Eternal. I've been there too Big guns. Sold. I just realised I'm going to have to make myself a different pickaxe because I won't be able to pick up things with this because they'll just break. Um, what can I build? I don't know. I'm trying I don't to find know where these. My little boat house is. I don't know where I've done with them. My name tags. Where did I put them? That's really weird. I had them here somewhere. Maybe they're over the other side. Okay. What? Yeah. What do you have, Iceberg? What have you been eating? So we got to find these name tags. Salad sandwich. At the moment. Cheese and salad. Is that what Loz had? Yeah. Cheese and salad and mayo. Really? Can't remember what I had today, but. I remember what I had. You can't remember what you had today. <laughs> I had toast with toast. dairy cheese. Like the spreadable stuff. Ah, I know where. Very I know where the name tags are. They're in my fishing stuff. There's another cat. Here, putty, putty. No, 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 no! I didn't move. I didn't move. Honest. Come back. Leave the chickens alone. I have fresh fish. Oh, it's coming. That's it, mate. Cute little noises. Come up here. Where are you going? She's on toast. She's on toast. I'm trying to get the trying to get the cat here. Ah, we have a new cat. What is its name? I don't know. <laughs> we have I a new cat. I don't know what the cat's name is. It's getting dark again. And I need to put my bed back down, don't I? I just left home as well. Um, let's stick the bed down. I'll do it. What do you mean you can only sleep at night? This looks like dark to me. What's going on? Mind you, it's a bit difficult to sleep. It should say things like, you can't sleep next to loads of... Uh, Sorry if you can hear that banging, it's my neighbour. Jelly cat. I've, oh, have I found a jelly cat? Yeah. No, not yet. Um, not that I'm aware of. I can't remember what the jelly cat looks like, actually. What was I going for? Oh, yeah. I reckon I must be like a typical bloke. I start doing something and I can never find my tools and what I want. No, Thanks. And then, it's like, I don't know, I, like, leave to go and get something, and I get as far as the garage, and I go, like, I can't remember what I came in here for. You guys will be me like that, aren't you, in chat? You back me up. Go into a room and forget. 
what you were there for. Yeah. yeah that sounds like my everyday life. Right. Like opening the fridge up because you're hungry, but there's nothing there you want. <laughs> Right, we need. I've got two cats that need naming, so I'm looking for some names, guys. Anyone in chat? Mm -hmm. Is it just one cat? I've got two. You got two. You could do Mary and Pippin. Sorry, what was that, Ray? Mary and Pippin. Mary, Mary as an M E R R Y, uh. and Pippin. The dog. Do you remember that with the aeroplane? Oh yeah, with the aeroplane. Oh man, yeah, I do. Is, is it double P in the middle, Pipping? Yes. Right, okay. That's Pipping. And what was the other one? Merry. Merry, as in to like get Merry or Merry Christmas. M E double -R, R Y. Yes. I shall name the cats. I found a lost cat. Has the name. You found a what? A cat. A lost Another cat. cat. You found a cat? Yeah, in the main respawn area. Don't worry, friend. I'll find something for you. Right, that's Pippin. Right, uh. Oh, sugar. I'll come round and have a look. I tend to leave the cats where they are, they can be quite good at scaring off the creepers. Just then. Help! I'm here. It's over here. Oh, it's over here. That. This one? Yeah, this is the one I was talking about. Oh. This one needs a name. This is going to be Mary. Oh. There you go. Hey, Mary. Stay. Don't run away. Yeah, I, I, I like the idea of someone saying in chat, Iceberg saying in chat about naming one of the cats dog. I Why actually had that before. That? Yeah, we need. To, I need to have that one on standby for doing that. But yes, we'll, we'll name one of them dog. Right, and... So that someone says, you must name dog. Dog. Yeah, dog. No. Just dog. I really need more storage. I've got all these ender chests, all these uh, shulker boxes. and still haven't got enough room for everything. It's I remember crazy. reading a story about a cat called Dog that saved them from a house fire. Oh. It woke oh. them up in time. Wow. Yeah. They're normally pretty good at that sort of thing, aren't they? They're pretty yeah. quick at spotting. Animals are pretty. Why have I got a random arrow in my inventory? What's that for? Go away. Don't want that. Did you get shot at? Possibly. Mm. Actually, I've got some valuables in here. Let's make myself a... a spare... Oh, I fell down my stairs. What I want to do is I'm just like going to sort out some of my bits here. So I'm actually going to go and make myself a new diamond pickaxe. No, this is not my house. Oh no, really. Ray! Oh no! Oh. She tried to swim in lava. This is one of the advantages of having the. Um... Once I get my three pan, I'll get making potions. Fire resist. Yeah, definitely need fire resist. Wood, wood. There's my wood box. Yeah, having the graves is really useful because then you don't have to worry so much about dying. Because it does mean that everything's saved. You end up swimming in lava with um, good gear on, you can end up losing it completely. I need to think of a riff. Right, what can I get with my... Efficiency free? Ah, oh, that'll do. And Fortune 2. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm not going to complain about that. Do need a lot of mending books, though. Right. 
Uh, it's my silk one. Put that one back there. Put that back in my inventory. Right, I'm ready. I am going to go back and try and finish this house. I've got a similar problem to Bex. I've got to come up with a... Well, I've sort of got a roof design, which I've now got to, like, build into this. Yeah. It's like, I've got the lower part down, and I'm happy with it. But the roof is always a problem. I don't want a flat roof. Uh, so it's... If you live in Britain or in Scotland, you know flat roofs are not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't remember where it was. I was somewhere where we had a flat roof. I can't remember which house we're in. Right, so I need birch and birch and birch and birch and birch and birch and birch. And birch. Right, now, how do I get upstairs in this place? Somebody got carried away with building the interior and not doing the upstairs. I think that was me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, the wall needs to come along here. So this is a solid wall on this side. And I really liked this idea of mixing in logs and planks. Because to me, the planks look a bit like well, especially when they're stripped, they look like it's like a spackle effect on the, on the outside. Uh, a lot of wooden buildings are done where the slats are done, aren't they? There's just like these slats of wood, and then they like plaster over the outside of it, and the the wood strips then look quite nice because they look like there's like areas where the wall is coming through. Like that. So we've got some nice walls up here. Now I need to finish this chimney off next as well. Which well, still a better way of doing railings in Minecraft because you like put stuff down. It's like. It just ends up like being really stuck. You have to use up a whole block space around it. It's just not quite what you wanted. Right, so we've got some stone boxes here. What have I got? Um, actually, we want to build that out of brick, don't we? I have to say, these shulker boxes are becoming a bit of a lifesaver. Shulker boxes are so handy. Just storing so much stuff in them now. It makes it so much easier. Especially now I've colour coded back and them. forth the whole time. On one of my other servers, I just went on a hunt for them and supplied tons to everybody. Yeah. But I kept a hold of like. What I have done on here is. I've added the data pack, the looting table, so that you get two for every right. kill. Um, because you, otherwise you end up in a, a bit of a situation, as you probably realise, is that you, normally within the game you don't, you're not guaranteed a drop. And you could end up in a situation where are like stripping great big lumps at the end out trying to find shulker boxes so I sort of like went with the idea that actually I will allow two per drop guaranteed that way we're not going to be like ripping massive amounts at the end out Oops, I just blocked up the chimney. Everyone's gassing themselves down there. Hey, Lo, I need you to come and do a risk assessment on my uh, fire. Me? Yeah. 
Can you not do that? Oh, it's dark up here now. Sleeping in one of the villagers' beds. I've got to get them over it as well, you know. That's going to be entertaining. Oh, it's got this massive fireplace. I think if um, no one slept, phantoms would be getting me by now. I haven't slept in days. Yeah, they're nasty, the phantoms. I don't mm. like the phantoms. They make Skyblock challenge even more challenging. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good point, actually. It's, they're nasty. Boats away. Which boats would stack? That'd be nice. Should actually put my own bed down. The people talking about me again. <laughs> Why not Pippin? No, you're Mary. Mary. This is constant sound of cats in the background. Everyone in chat is really quiet today. Is it like Sleepy Sunday? I think so. I've just remembered I have washing to hang up. Oh no! <laughs> Especially when I need it tomorrow. That's the whole thing with Sundays, yeah. isn't it? That's what we have. That's why we streamed a little bit earlier today. Um, but the idea being that we wouldn't have to worry so much about. Sorting ourselves I think you out keep cutting out on my end. I think. Yeah. I don't know. Just ever so slightly. Every other word it just cuts out. Is it on the, the Discord or...? I think it might just be Discord. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're probably pushing the limits of the amount of bandwidth we're trying to use. Possibly. Enigma's doing their morning chores. That's why they're quiet. Right, I've got some roof slats in here now. I don't know where I'm going to put a beam across there. I think I might. So when you go about building, Becca, what do you think about? Is there a particular style you go for, or...? Do you have a plan already? Do you like to be planned out or do you like build organically? Sorry, are you speaking to me? Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it keeps on cutting out. I was just wondering uh, if you build organically or whether you have a set plan before you start. Um, I, I don't really have a, have a style. I stick to the same materials, which is, um, I like andesite. Diorite, spruce wood, uh, oak to accent them. Um, I just seem to use the same materials. I've tried branching out and I always go back to the same ones. I think the most adventurous thing was the Viking house on the hydro server. And that was huge. It took me days. We'll see. But that was meant that was spruce wood logs and planks and dark oak. I'm trying to remember how long it took me to do. I think it was like four days. So I had to work out like the curve of the roof by myself. There was no blueprint right and it was out of my head. Yeah, because they've got quite a big long curve to them, haven't they? On those roofs. It quite That's what I'm thinking of. Mm. I had to... It was huge. I, on my last uh, world that I produced, or that I did, 
I built a. I'm going to build another one on here as well. I built my airship. And oh, yeah, it's like a it. steampunk themed airship. And it was massive. And that was like proper hard work trying to work out how to do that. You scared the hell out of me. You brat. <laughs> you just came at me from behind and threw um, the draft excluder that we have just over my head. <laughs> you brat. <laughs> Come say hello. 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 <laughs> Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Oh, I'd love a cup of tea, thank you. Oh, now I want a cup of tea. Oh. Oh. Um, you want a cup of tea? Yeah. <laughs> cup of tea and a bit of cake. Oh. Sponge cake. Sponge cake. Need sponge cake. I made a lemon cake. She can give me any. <laughs> What's your favourite thing to have with a cup of tea? <gasps> Chucky biscuit. I'm asking Mon and Halo. What's your reason of you? Surely you know, Becca. Surely you know. Uh, I think I do. <laughs> I think I do know what you like. <laughs> the Nairn's cheesecake. The che oh, cheesecake. Oh. Or the caramel wafer. Caramel wafer. That's the one. <laughs> Well, I went through a phase of having custard creams. A phase of? A phase of having custard creams. It keeps on cutting out, sorry. Custard creams. Oh, custard creams. Yeah. They're good. I, I put on a lot of weight then. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? It's rejecting the caramel with those. No. Custard things. Oh, custard. Oh, are you meaning the crisp? What was it called? Uh, I don't know if it was a Yeah. You were saying about crispy cream donuts. Yeah. And how you got addicted to them. No, it's okay. You haven't had any, have you? No, I've never had a crispy creme donut. They're all right. Um, someone bought them from my work once. It's like a celebration of um, one of the pharmacies that supplies one of my practices. Um, it was like their anniversary. So they bought all the DPs and um, donuts. So it was quite nice. So Enigma in chat has said that, um, that makes he yeah, makes I get some of food. tea. What what is sun tea? What is sun tea? I've never heard of sun tea. I drink my tea in the sun. Drink you prefer to drink your tea in the sun. Yeah. You like Earl Grey, don't you? Oh, and what is it? The like the breakfast tea. Oh yeah. And peppermint tea. Peppermint tea your favourite, is it? I don't know how to hang the lights over here. I'm trying to work out what to do. Because I put these ones on the rafters up here. Like that, you see. When my cousin came to the US, I gave her a rainbow donut, and now she loves rainbow and not crispy. Oh, so it's rainbow, another brand. Not heard of rainbow donut. I just know of like jam donuts. Custard donuts, oh, no. apple donuts, apple filled donuts, oh. a rainbow donut, apple filled donut. Oh dear, this is not good. Me talking about food. The US has some amazing food. Oh, rainbow must be a brand. I think I've seen um, rainbow bagels, but I haven't seen rainbow um. the brand for donuts. 
I'm just getting hungry now. Yeah. Oh, Lord says, wait, wait, wait. I'm wondering who's talking about so, so, Somebody's woken up. <laughs> now Iceberg's like, hungry. Hello. Sun tea is black tea made in a glass jar in bathed in, oh, I'm bathing in the sun, I guess. Oh, very so nice. So it's not hot. No. It's warm. I walk away for five state. minutes and start talking about dance. Well, don't walk away then, Loz. Okay? I don't walk away in the middle of your streams. It's a southwest brand. It's a southwest brand. I wonder if that actually I think I'm starting to come up with a little love a bit of an idea here. Rather than having these lamps hanging from the ceiling. Why don't Any I have them for, uh, help. hanging next to the beds? That could work. Let's do that. Ooh. Mushroom. Mushroom. <laughs> it's the cat. Oh, <laughs> you found Mushroom the cat. Yeah. Mushroom the cat is our first cat. This must be a very cosy bed here in the corner because it's right up against the chimney chest. This is definitely one you'd want to sleep next to, isn't it? In the winter. These guys have got lights over here. We need a light in the middle because otherwise we're going to get stuff spawning. I think I am going to have to leave these lights up here because I was just going to get stuff joining us in the game that we don't want. Yeah, I'm seriously hungry for a donut now. Yeah. Who's that out the window? I can see in the distance. Is that a halo? There you are. Where are you going? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm following my car. Don't you, don't you what? Don't what, Loz? <laughs> you drink it cold with lemon. Oh yes, that's like a black tea, oh, isn't nice. it? Black cold tea. Cold tea over here is like a blasphemy. Yeah. We don't have hot enough weather. Oops, I lost that. I think that went in the fire. Oh, no. Aha, oh I've got another one. fishing rod. Nice. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. That ah, looks better. It's got a little bit of a edge to it. I'm doing this zero sugar this month and you're kidding me. A kill for a donut now. <laughs> uh, so Enigma says that he there oh, sorry, I'll say he by mistake. Says that they are in Arizona. It's almost always warm or hot, yeah, I imagine. It's hard to imagine people living in such warm places all the time. I'm in Scotland where it's almost always cold. <laughs> Are you still pretty close to where you were living before? Uh, yeah, we've only moved um, probably about four miles. Because oh, um, okay. we moved from a town that was outside of the city that we actually live in, technically. Right. Without giving away where I actually am. <laughs> well, yeah. So Enig Enigma has... Cr correctly corrected me and said that they are a she. Like, I need to be more like, I, I do the whole like promoting gender oh, and equality and, Sorry. <laughs> and stuff like that. And it's very easy to just assume, isn't it? Never assume. Never assume. Never assume. I mean, every, everyone thinks that, you know, I'm just like 
this amazing superhuman, don't they? You. Oh, okay. I thought you did. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas Loz, I mean, I mean, only a bloke would have a name like that, wouldn't they? Loza. 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 He said he re always reminds me of like. When I was a kid, my dad used to have these papers for making roll-up cigarettes. Oh, I know. Who did. Rizla papers. Rizla, yeah. <laughs> like Loza Rosa Rizla. I did that work calling Loza and people like what? It's like <laughs> wonder where the names come <laughs> <Awkward>. from. <laughs> okay. It's a secret online yeah. identity. Each is the same. No, it's not. It's not the same. Shouldn't just assume. It should be better. You can never be too careful. Right now, I've got to get my roof on here. How's your roof going, Beck? I still don't have one. It's very flat. <laughs> Ooh, I'll nick this. Um, so mine currently. Hit, I've got a bit of a flat roof on this at the moment. So I know what it's supposed to look like. I've just got to work out how to do it now. So I need some filler blocks. Is it? Ah, oh, see, a lot of the time people go, ah, oh, you know, just use some like earth blocks as filler. But I can't do that. I can't like use rubbish materials. I can't get down. I feel like I'm supposed to use the right materials for doing the job. I'd like to think that if a builder came to my house, that they wouldn't use just rubbish. Fill the, the middles of my walls with earth. I have an adorable style house. Oh. I really like my house. Who are you? I thought I was talking about. I thought I knew my house was saying that. It's still a really good house. <laughs> ah, stop winding me up. No, I know you don't know what you mean. I'm in a big hole in my roof at the moment. I've been working on some styles um, in my other world, haven't I? On what things will look like. Which I think is like really important to do. I, I, I don't think I could survive without my like creative worlds to try stuff out in. I've actually kept it now for quite some time. Can't get down the scaffolding. <laughs> there we go. Ah, what's going on? Strange material. Uh, right, now, the roof is predominantly going to be stone. Try and bring in a bit of the. Can I ask a question? You may. Why I'm stuck in the pillagers? No villagers. Are you in the? Are you in the? Um, what we do not call the compound. Huh? How did you get in there? I fell. Did you come over the wall? No, I fell. Where are you? In the villager. In here. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Yes, yeah, so if you come over here, there's a button on the door. You press the button and then run through the door. Got it. And there's one on the other side to get in. Mm, no, yeah. it's fell in. Now, I mean, we're not keeping them hostage. This this is actually <laughs> protection to stop zombies getting in. Okay. The problem is, is that the villagers are just a little bit, well, they're not very safety conscious. And they tend to have a habit that if you give them wooden doors, they'll just come wandering out and wandering around, and then they'll get killed by zombies. So, yeah. But Sam, one of the uh, villagers in there, he's um, uber important because he'll sell you an emerald for one pumpkin or one watermelon. And then he'll then give you three gold carrots for that emerald, which is like uber fantastic food. It's just like a free food supply. So with a little watermelon farm here that you just went in and had a look at, you get loads of free food. Sam the food man. 
Sam the food man, yeah. I think Sam's DNA is in actually most of the villagers as well. I think he's done most of the breeding in the area as well. Which is, again, very odd, the whole thing with villagers, because there aren't boys and girls. So I've been trying to pick gender neutral names for them all. Anyone think I have a thing about being gender neutral, wouldn't they? Not necessarily. Nope. Just have very strong views on diversity and stuff, don't I? That's the problem. Uh, you two are just too cute. What? What? Me and Halo? I'm just going to hop away for a minute, moment. I'll no stay here. Uh... Apparently we're cute. <laughs> Me. I'm cute. No, us Aww, two are cute. You're no. so cute. <laughs> yeah, we, we just do wander off quite a lot. Me or the villagers? No, the villagers. The villagers wander off a lot. It's night time again. Oh no, someone please change it. I'm Sorry, exploring. I have a Me bed. Thanks. I need to get you set up with all this sort of like kit so that you can like have your own backpack with emergency supplies. I'm still trying to find my boat house. Your boat? Have you lost your house? Yeah. It's that way. <laughs> Where? I'm at an ice place. Oh no no no! You don't want to be over there. Come back over towards spawn. <laughs> I'm going to treat myself to a to a creams for a full on ice cream <gasps> sundae. <gasps> Loza, when's that? You've upset me right now. Loza? Heart -wrecking. Heart -wrecking. When are you going, dude? We want to come with you. So Why is there a carrot over my shoulder? Hello. Hey. Uh, oh, oh. oh no, what's going on? There's a weird phoenix morphed inside okay. me. Trouble. Oh, creams. Oh. Would you like some high quality carrots? There you go. Look, have some of these. They're like really nutritious. Yeah, but they last longer. Full um, security. Yeah, so if you head out in that direction, okay. then you'll have to cross a river, cross some lands, flat lands. And then swim again, unless you've got your boat with you, in off into the distance, and then you'll eventually find. But keep heading in sort of like a, a diagonal direction. Okay. I don't think I have to set your own home mod on here. March sometime. I want an invite. March. He's going in March, apparently. Is that when he's finished his zero thing? that when you're finishing your zero calorie just I guess uh, where am I going on the roof ah. I can't remember where I made my roof now I think I know do I I'm trying to decide whether I go wood or stone on the roof. I think it might be wood. Mm. I'm going to use my other account to go and have a look in my... I could use this one actually. People on stream can have a look at what I'm doing. I'm going to have a quick break as well though. Hey. Yeah. So, before I do that though... I can make you a cup of tea. I'll tell you what, I'm going to hand the stream over to you. Yeah, you. No, please don't. Please yeah. don't. I'm literally, no, please don't. Or shall I hand it over to Bex? Yeah. She's the pro. She's like, oh no, no. Are you spectating me? <laughs> Hello. Right. We can now see what Bex is doing on stream. So okay. I'm going to go and make a cup of tea and you can give commentary. <laughs> you can see me, literally. Right. 
I know the gun. I got a cat. I got two cats. And I'm trying to work out. Still don't know what I'm going to do. So. I don't have a huge amount of material to work from. But I was thinking of oak plant. But I don't know how it'll go. What does this look like with this? Nah, it's too, too much the same. I haven't seen any dark oak trees. And the nether tunnel's done. Yeah, it's fun. I've like paved it and everything. Oh, that's awesome. So. So now it's going to be a short walk to visit me. Oh, you want me to visit? Uh, what was that? Would you like me to come visit? Yeah. I really need to make a path from my house to spawn, <laughs> even though I live at spawn, really. They make it look. Whoa. I'm just trying to remember where the portal is. Oh, there you are. Hold on. Ooh, shelters. I'm not stealing them. I'm a good person. <laughs> I can hear you laughing still. <laughs> Me. I'm not ready for that. Oh wow, we have paved it. Yeah, so oh. it. You've done a really good job, it's cool. I just kind of mixed it. No, I like it. And then I ran out of hey. The random stairs. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, I'm falling through the wall. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm disconnecting and coming back. <laughs> that's weird. Why did that Okay. Happen? I don't know how that happened. Maybe I should get rid of it. Right, that's fine. I'm just checking that the stream's still following me. Or not. I'm so confused as to how that happened. I don't know. That's really weird. Have you got stuff um, underneath the portal that's like a solid brick? Like, it's all sand around it? Yeah, it's all sand. Yeah, the portals are always tricky. I'll just clear out. I usually put mine on its own, on a platform, with like a solid base under it, because I have so many issues with them. Yeah, they look cool. Yeah, it looks cool. Hello, guys. Hello again. Hi. I hey, Silky! Uh, never come up. So what's happening, guys? So is this still going back to my portal? No, no, I did it, but it doesn't like being back together. Okay. Oh, Loz is gone. Bye, Loz. Bye, Loz. I will try again. Let's see how things go. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down some, it shouldn't matter what's round it, I'm just going to write down some coordinates and work out where we are, um, to try and help you out. So I'll see, I'll hop back through it. So we're at minus six, eight, see what happens. seven, five, Because it comes up 22. loading terrain for ages and then I'm following. 
and then I have to quit the game, or it saves me at the last moment. Because you fall right down, like, yeah. through the lava, into the void, and then you land on your feet again, and you're fine. Very scary. Okay, so apparently this portal here on the island is at minus 687 by 22 and let's put myself into creative mode and then I can go through it. This is why we have administrator rights to test these things out. So when I come out the other end, I oh, no, stop sucking me back into the other world. It's fine going into the nether. It's just when you're coming back out of it, it, it goes all funny. Right, let's go back into survival, I think, because it tries to re-log me too quickly. Um, so where are we on this side? We're definitely... Uh, ooh, 86 by 2. Yeah, that's pretty close. That's pretty close. So when I come back through it, where do I end up? Building terrain. Ooh. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, that's Do weird. I like fell for ages and then yeah, suddenly... Yeah, you fall right through the world. It could it's be really just creepy. a lag thing on the game. Sorry, I'm getting the sand off the top. I do wonder if it is lag from the server. It's Let me have strange. a look. I've never seen that before. Um, yeah, because you don't actually die, do you? You still come back. I'll go through it again. I know, it's really strange. Uh, Enigma just said that, it's really strange. So, I'll say when I've popped through. So I should be through on the other side. But it's seen the loading terrain, and then I fall. I die, and you're then I come through again. Yeah, <laughs> you're actually there though, that's the strange thing. I can actually see you there. Yeah, so am I just there standing in the portal? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Uh, has anyone got a bed? Mm -hmm. Nope. I have a fishing rod. That's what I do at night. Oh no, we've had a villager killed by a zombie. Uh, if you have a bed, just be a cave entry. Right, I'm going to have a go at going through this again, and I'm going to I'm watch fishing. my server log just to see what's coming up. Going in is fine. We do get a spike in CPU usage. It's not horrible. Let's give it a moment to drift back, because you wouldn't go straight back through normally. And I'll come back in now and see what happens. Yeah, I end up in the water. And then drop through. Wow, that's really weird. Yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I don't think you end up dying. I think it just takes time for But you don't take any damage. You don't lose anything. You don't actually die. No. I think it's creepy. just take, taking time for the client end uh, to update itself from the server. So we'll keep an eye on it. What I'll do is I'll go back to my one and I'll have a go see if it's happening there. But yeah, I think you're okay here. It's just a bit weird and glitchy and we'll look into it. Because it's interesting that it's almost instant when you go back the other way. Mm 
I can hear the ghasts. Yeah. Well, oh, no. Lee Brady Cat really has built all this tunnel already. I'm pretty sure it's just cat noises. I think it's like one of the creators is their actual cat. And they recorded it for the guests. Now what's really weird is I just came through my port, so I don't know if you heard it, but did you hear the water sound? No. Oh, it's gone very quiet. Yeah, dropped out. Oh, I dropped out, did I? Yeah, so when I came through my port, so at this end, I got the same weird water sound, but I didn't drop through the world. The same thing happened. I didn't drop, but I did get um, water. Um, so when you press, if you move your thing to there, press F, you can like swap hands. There you go. Cool. Right. Um, take that back off the screen. I can see chat again. Uh, that happened to Iskow in the last Hermitcraft six episode. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I'll have to go and have a look at Iskow's video and see if he sees that happen. It might be a bug in uh, one fifteen two. So we'll have to have a look into that. What was I doing? Do, do, do. Um, I was building my house. That's what I was doing. Do I need to finish making the tea? You saw nothing. This <laughs> is not a tree. I don't have any bone meal. Sure, I can do it. It's a very casual stream today, isn't it? Best way. I'm normally all like really hyperactive and stuff. There's the cats. Right. Roof. Oh, I was going to go and look at my other world at how my other building was done, wasn't I? That's what I was going to do. So let's do that quickly. So we're going to drop out of here. Dodgy ET. Yeah. I'm just going to go back to my base and try and build a roof. Because I've been meaning to do that for like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Still haven't built the roof. Right, so this is the roof style that I'm going for on my next bit of this build. Hello, thank you for the tea. Or oh, coffee. Try it first. Hmm. I've never had that on GDT, so I don't know. So I've got steps under the underside here. Yeah, I was, I was wondering what I did with the top of the uh, logs here. But I've got these cobblestone steps that go up. And then I finish the ends of the buildings with um, the acacia wood. So now I can. This is why I come and build all this. I built this like virtual little city. Uh, so Enigma, you were saying about like my house looking nice. So I spent ages trying these out, seeing what they're going to look like. I watched loads of other people's streams, and videos, and try and mix together the different ideas that they come up with and how I can do stuff and uh, yeah so this is what I sort of end up with can you hear kitty? so yeah so right let's go and sort out this roof and see if we can get it to look like this and I've also got this gap yeah. in the end of the roof as well with this overlap on the end So are you guys excited for um, Hermitcraft 7? 
You, you don't yeah, watch Harry Potter, do you? I don't. Do you watch uh, Hermitcraft or anything like that, Bex? No, I haven't been watching a huge deal recently. Um, I haven't been watching anything like YouTube or Twitch related for a, a, quite a bit. I need to get back in the swing of things. Ridiculous. The only people that I watch regularly are yourself and Meg now. Oh. I feel privileged. <laughs> I have to keep the quality of my streams up now. Yeah, Hermitcraft 7's going to be interesting because they're like going to come into doing this whole bee thing and... I'm trying to remember what else is really different between this version of Minecraft and what we had in 115. I think it's mainly the bees, isn't it? Cat to teleport to me. I think it's stuck somewhere. Oh, there it is. You can sit. I know Rady Cat watches um, Hermitcraft because I see her name occasionally in chat. No escaping. <laughs> I know Silky does as well. Very quiet today, Silky. Where? How are you? How have you been doing? Oh, she probably disappeared on us. So, I need to get some soul sand and nether wart. Do you have any to spare? Um, I can go hunting yes. for some. Yes, 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 I do. Because I need to get um, blaze rods. Or I need to find a village that has a brewing station. I That's think a lot of work. I can probably do better than that. Um, let's have a look. So, I'm trying to remember, I want to get the mod that one of the guys use, uh, that Zuma uses, where you can see inside his shulker boxes without having to actually open them. Forgotten where you hid it now. Yeah, basically. Is <laughs> um, that the back of the house? What did you. What did you do? Ask me before growing, again. You want blaze rods, don't it. you? I'm sure I've got blaze rods in my main house. Sure, there's some in here somewhere. I'm raking around. Yeah, my my stuff. Oh, there's two up here. Where are you? There you okay. are. Two blaze rods. Thank you. And soul sand. You say? It's just never worked to make potions. Right, okay, I've got some of that. I'll need to get more blaze rods anyway, so I'll need to go with it there. <laughs> I've got some in here anyway. I don't wanna. <laughs> Actually, there's, um, the stuff's not that far away. That's what I can run. How many houses do you have? Uh, well, this is not actually my house. This is going to be one of the villagers' houses for where they're going to be, like, doing stuff. That's it, I've got a nether box here. Oh, we just got everything you oh, want. Oh, sorry. Oh, never stuff. Never rack. Soul sand. I've got a sand box here somewhere. Ice and glass. Full of sand box. What you Go for it. All sand. I'm sure I had How some. How many do you have? have you, There's you, loads. 
Yeah, yeah. Can you not? Can you not see my screen at the moment? <laughs> Hold on. Open your. Oh yeah, you got quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is just the ones that are out. <laughs> um, so that's redstone. That's clay. That's lighting. That's earth. That'll probably have some sand in it. It's fine. What I'll do is I'll go for a hunt later. There you go. Soul sand. Soul sand. Half a stack. Oh, brilliant. And I should have a plant box here. Another wart somewhere. There we go. Thank you. Oh, yeah, there's a load of never wart growing around that's, the back of the uh, my main you. house. Yeah. Yes, look at my multicolored floor it. I've got. Um, I've been streaming for an hour and a half so far. I'll probably going to stream. I'm going to stream up into the hour, um, which is five o'clock here in the UK. So about another twenty minutes or so. Because then we're going to go away and sort of stuff. We're going to have a proper roasty dinner tonight, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Apparently. 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 Looks like I'm cooking. No, you're not. It's all right. I don't mind cooking. Um. Yeah. So stream up into the hour houses wise going back to what you're saying there enigma i've got that main house around there which i really need to do some more decoration in there and i need to basically build these houses so that people when they do get to come on the server can actually enter them and go around and have a look so that when you guys subscribe and come on you'll get automatic access to be able to come on and visit everything that's on here what have you got iceberg he hasn't got a donut, has he? Uh, He's going to like tease me. <laughs> you should cook for Halo. She has been busy building. She has. I know. I feel quite proud of myself. <laughs> How are you doing with your building? Like? Terrible. I'm did. going on an adventure to find some dark oak. Ooh. Um, where did I see the dark oak? I'll go find some. I think... I'll just look out for a mushroom forest. I'll stick to the coastline. I don't think there was anything around the coastline I can remember. Um, I it's thought it was huge. somewhere. I can never remember directions in Minecraft. What's that? That's southeast. I think southeast, out into the mainland. There's potentially stuff out that way, but I can't remember. But that was part of the. Oh, Iceberg's got 10,000 points. You can make me stream without my armour on or something. <laughs> you guys really need to pick when you're going to do it so you can, like, punish me properly. <laughs> 10,000 points. Yeah. Yes, I remember. <laughs> uh, right, acacia wood. I'm going to try and build the, the, the end bits first. It's going to be a massive actor cup. I don't know what we're going to put up here. I have to hide all my shulker boxes now that uh, Becca's seen what's in them. <laughs> uh, building blocks going there. Oh, hello, hello. I'm passing by. <laughs> I was wondering who had this. Yeah, she's got some amazing bling floor in yeah. Got massive diamond blocks. I mean, I know she does a lot of digging and mining and stuff, and yet you wear you've never got any armor, and then you've got iron blocks, diamond blocks as flooring. Yeah. Good God. Hey, hey is Cantina in the in chat? Oh, you guys are going to be like picking on me when I like go shulker hunting or something. <coughs> oh, a shipwreck. Uh, what oh, do I want? Someone's Wood. already had a look. Well, there's an actual ship. Yeah, there's one that's sort of floating out there as well, isn't it? It's pretty yeah. much intact. 
I was really well, impressed cool. with it. It's like a ghost ship. Hmm. I think that one needs some work done on it so that it can be like turned into. I haven't actually seen one that's like floating like this. Yeah. It's Always like... craft. I reckon that one needs to be it's... turned into like a working ship. Yeah, that could be easily done as well because it's like it, the the most difficult bit is actually getting it in like level in the water. Yeah. All you need to do is like fill in the gaps. I bet someone's already had a look in here and got the yes. chest. I think yeah. I might have done. Oh, Rady Cat there with a the yes. <laughs> She's the queen of the sea. She's going to find all the treasures. Of course she would. <laughs> it's fine. I, I'm not even meant to be able to kick your shipwrecks. I need dark <laughs> oak wood. I don't know if I even had any dark oak wood. Need to get focused. The problem with dark oak is it doesn't always give you the, the saplings back. Hmm? Dark oak it doesn't always give you the saplings back, does it? I'll find I'm already like this far away. <laughs> I've got some jungle saplings. Um What was I doing? Another oh, yeah. shipwreck. Probably been bored. Right. Because when I first got the server going, Ooh, I don't know if it has. I um, a tree won't grow. Why am I trying to grow a tracer tree? Tra 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 oh, it's got a treasure map. Why am I trying to build acacia trees? And look what's over there on the end of the island. <laughs> I built them all there quite a while ago, and I've forgotten they were even there. <laughs> I am such a dirt sometimes. Right, uh, should I take a wood box with me? Let's take that one with me. And let's go cut down all the trees. Might plant a load of birch trees over here. I've got some scaffolding. I love the red texture inside Acacia. Give me the logs. Ooh. Now lots of sounds of piggies. I'm going to die, no. Breathe. <laughs> no. I'm nearly drowning. Oh. Don't worry, I've already done that. <laughs> Yeah, I saw you got killed by a drown. Look, I don't want to die. <laughs> Please. Right. I have a whole bunch of junk. I can get rid of. So guys in chat um, watching the stream, I want to know... Who's interested in coming on? Uh, what sorts of stuff would you build? Because we've gone with a very sort of survival world. And I'm going to be concentrating mainly building in my spawn area here. I wanted to sort of like concentrate on an area that was allow allowing people to be able to come in and visit. That join the server there was a bottle of enchanting in this ship. Bottle of enchanting. Uh, draining. I will reach that log. Right, let's go back and. Mm. I am, but I'm still on Stitch. Stitch. Stitch? Stitch. I don't know. Now, hopefully, I don't get feared by by any drowned. Because <laughs> it's already happened today. Ooh. Did anyone feel a server lag just then? No? 
It's interesting because that's when I don't know if you noticed iceberg. Um, that's when the the farm normally updates over there. Ooh, oh, you're on bedrock. I oh, see. You'd have to switch. Yeah, because we're all on um, Java. I can never remember what the deal is with bedrock servers. Because I heard people saying something about you have to, like, request one. It's not the same as Java. There's, like, some rules around it or something. I don't know. I couldn't really understand why they'd make a version. You have an Xbox 360 as well. Ah, I see. This ocean is huge. It just seems to keep on going forever. I don't know how many people there are out there that stream on the Xboxes. You get loads of acacia. And a little desert biome. But if anyone watches my uh, first video that I've done about making the server, you'll see the seed number in there. Um, but any of you guys can get at the seed number anyway. And I've been using oh, the mist to work out where stuff is. I got very distracted. I found a village. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a desert biome. It's not even the correct biome. Does it look like a desert village then? It was huge. Quite a large desert biome. The village though, does it look like um, the sort of biome they have? Look like an Because don't they have like flat roofs in the desert? Yeah, they've got little turrets. Oh, cool. They have to steal all that they own. Which is just bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can keep it. <laughs> they don't want bread. There's always this thing I feel a little bit guilty sometimes of actually like completely raiding them of everything they've got. I'm the villain in this. I'm just running into all their houses and raiding them. And then running away. <laughs> it's not like they really care, Where's is it? Where's kitties? They've got a children? Photographer. Oh, the cat killed a rabbit! Really? Oh. Yeah, it murdered it in front of me. It's just a little um, rabbit leather and meat in front of me now. <laughs> I didn't know that they would attack them. It makes sense though. What is it? Um, oh man, this is a massive village. Why is there another cat? Kind of broken the setting though, because they're like, they've got a floating house or two. Let's see if I can get that cat over there. When I first started this area of the world, there was a lot of foxes. A dog over here. Found a cat right near Becca's house. Hmm? Found a cat near your house. Can't quite get close enough for it. So it oh, it's noticing me now. Aha! I have another cat. Right, then they're supposed to follow me, aren't they? Come on in, you. Meow. One thing I think that this flat is missing sometimes is a cat. I wish oh, I could have no. a cat. 
or a you cat person. We want a dog. I'd love a dog, but cats are easier to look after. Yeah. And they make less mess. That's true. A bit of hair. Yeah. Right, where am I going to put this cat? Oh, this village is so poor. It only has bread, wheat, and campuses. My cat guy. They have no loot other than that. Nothing at all. <laughs> for things. It's a well, massive village. The village that's well. next to spawn, I don't know if you've seen it, it's behind where your house is, Bex. The village that's next to. Yeah, there's a village next to your house, Bex. Behind it. My house? Yeah. Uh, not the one that heals that. Uh, no. There is a little house out there. I found out that in the pine trees. Um, yeah, so it's, and it's got loads of pumpkins around it and stuff. Uh, there was no one there, no. Yeah, when I when I started. Is that where you got your villagers? No, strangely enough, no. When I went first went there, it was completely deserted. There was no one in it at all. Completely empty. All right. No, my um, my villagers have all been bred from uh, to zombie villagers. So I've got the zombie spawner underground near the spawn area, and I managed to, after a period of time, get two villager zombies, and I sectioned them off and cured them. I think that was really early on in my streams. I did that. Can't remember. Uh, did that, managed to get them cured up, and now there's five of them down there at the moment, villagers. And I went through some effort getting Sam, Max, and Bob, who are the current villagers who are up in the, um, the outside house. And I'm going to use them as my breeding stock. That <laughs> <laughs> sounds too weird. And then the ones that are underground are there as like a backup if I ever need any. But apparently, if you find igloos, have you found any darker yet? Nope. <laughs> well, I found a diamond. <laughs> Priorities. Well, on the hunt. For a ocean temple to get some prisoners. It's right next to Dark Out, so I'll get to. Oh, thank you. Who put a pumpkin in the item frame here? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> <laughs> That's a little weird. Right, Enigma. Um, We need a name for this little puddy cat. He's got lovely green eyes. Look at that. So he's definitely going to be a cat to have on the um, on the docks here, like chasing off the rats and the mice and stuff. Right, okay, we have a name. I'm, I'm terrible at saying names. Is that Sylvie? S Sylvie? How do you say that? Sylvia. I'm drowning. No, 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 no. Sylvia. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Not doing Sylvia. very well. I think I've got that right. Oh no. So we've got Sylvia. Why is Sylvia? Godvia. It looks like my cat. Godvia. Christ! Where have you been? Okay, we'll go with. Well, I like the Godvia. That's a, like a really Godvia. obscure oh, name. Godvia. Everyone's going to be like, what on earth is that cat's name? Why is it so weird? Hello, Christine. Ah. How you doing, Chris? Have you missed much? You've missed loads, dude. You went to get pizza. Oh. Now you stay there, Godvia, and guard the docks of rats and mice and fish and everything else like that. Like the chocolate. Godvia like the chocolate. Hmm. Mm, okay. 
Is this is there a thing? Where's my bed? My bed's a I just keep somewhere. finding shipwrecks. <laughs> Keep getting, getting distracted. distracted. So, Chris, mm -hmm. we there are. I, I'll hit the tab button. There are four of us all playing in this world right now. We have Becca, Halo, Hello. myself, and Ray is out there as well. Lady Godfrey. <laughs> so we've actually got the server uploaded now. And I've moved my world up into the into the cloud onto my server, and we are experimenting to see over the next probably three or four weeks. I'm hoping to try and get all the bolt-ons working and running. Oh, look, Chris is all excited now, <laughs> and um, you guys will be able to join soon. But we need to do sort of like give it a thorough testing, so it's sort of like just building and doing stuff and. I don't know how big this map is. Um, this map is currently infinite. There's no limitation on it, but we will have to work out what the world border is going to be. I'm probably going to make it pretty big. Uh, we need to sort of like test out some tools. We need to, I need to like cut the world up into zones so that people people can build in different areas and stuff. And I've also got to be able to to manage things like we've been talking about this a lot, haven't we, Halo? About how to manage people on the server because even before you get started, you know, you can say, "Well, I've got a community of people who are all really nice and everything, and they're great." But if I open the server up so that people with a tier one sub can join and oh, get on the me. server, I could get griefed very, very quickly. So I need to have the tools in place for the server to protect the, the people on here and the players, because they're not going to be best happy if this stuff gets griefed. Oh, it takes me long enough to build it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, yep, so we're going to put uh, core protect. I'm looking at using Core Protect 2, which is an add on which allows you to monitor everything that everyone does. It basically makes a log More shipwrecks. of every time, like a box is opened or bo blocks are broken, and all sorts of things. So I've got to test that out. And I'm also going to use some tools like world border to create the shapes of the world border that we want and I believe there's another tool which is the name of it escapes me at the moment but it allows you to do areas and zones where you can and can't build so it stops people from being able to do any building or breaking of blocks unless they buy a plot of land I think that's similar to what you've Done, isn't it, Becca? Is that how it works on the the Hydra one? Sorry, you're cutting out a bit there. Sorry, Sorry. Bex. On Hydra, that? how do they control who builds where? How do Hydra control building? Like, do you buy plots of land on the server? So, um, in the previous season, we had claims. So you were able to claim an area of a certain size um, I think the maximum was a 250 radius area and right. no one else would be allowed to build on that and there was a list of all the claims but now they've scrapped that and you can have your base wherever as long as it's not like too close to someone or like they're quite happy for you to be there and uh, you can put flag posts down, like the banners, right. and um, name them. So it's like a command in chat, and you can like name it like Becca Bramble Base, and then that appears on their dyna map, yep. and that's your claim. Oh, I see. Uh, and yeah, so that's so how it works. 
there isn't like a sign or anything. Um, so you're sort just... of self-policing it, I guess. Oh no, Ray, you're not doing very well. Okay. No. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I will get this in though. <laughs> Eventually. What was really interesting so is you said that and your voice cut nice. just at the right point when it sounded like she was about to swear. <laughs> That's how it works in the map. Are there a lot of people on that server yeah. though? They found that the old claim system didn't work so well, so they changed it. And I like the new one. But I don't play in Hydro too often. Hmm. But it's something we've certainly got to look into as to how we're going to do that ourselves here and how we're going to manage it. Uh, because I want to like, be able to protect, obviously, the people that are playing. And so do you have a dime map for this mod? It's the plugin is installed but not work turned in on at the moment. That, it's on the list. I have it installed but it's not turned on. Because uh, I found it was quite laggy last time. But the I mean you know who hosts my server. They've moved it to a different server, so it's supposed to be a bit more performance now. So I'm just waiting to see what it's like when I switch it on. I don't really feel like I've got a lot of this house built. <laughs> it's, I spent like two or three hours on this the other day and this is like, I'm still going. It just takes forever to do this stuff. Get the bills to look how you want them to. But uh, I'm reasonably happy. Right, what I'm going to do now, because I've been pretty much near the end of our time that we've got, haven't we, Halo? Uh, yeah. So I'm going to. So what progress did I make today? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump into spectator mode. Oh, yeah, I've not been in again since. And I'm going to take you round, everyone, and show you what we've been doing. So, why did that not work? There we go. So, I had sort of at the bottom floor of this building done, which you've not seen, have you yet, Chris? So, let's give you a little tour. So, in here, we've got this little workshop area. This was built when we started the stream. I've been doing this off stream. This is going to be for stonemasons, tool makers, etc. So there are going to be four villagers living in here. And their bedrooms are up here, which is sort of still needs a lot of work. And put some lighting in, etc. We've got this big fire to keep them warm. So I sort of had some of this. So I finished the walls off and put this layer of the roof and the chimney on. And we did a bit of exploring around, showing everyone what stuff there was. So to give everyone some perspective of where we are from here, I'm at spawn and I'm now flying towards Becker's house, which is out towards the west here slightly. Now Becker only came on the server late yesterday, I think. This so morning. She, oh, this morning. Wow. So she's been Sorry. busy putting her house together, which is going to be sort of just viewable from where I am, just out of sight here. My house that still does not have a roof on it. <laughs> roof, no roof on there yet. Oh, no. But it's, it does have a roof, it just doesn't have the one that I want yet. And I'm so if still anyone, not 100% on that. So if anyone's been wondering when watching in stream or you guys in, in chat, you'll notice that <laughs> Enigma says the roof looks good. Um, there are these stone blocks which are positioned about every 16 blocks with a redstone torch on top of them. These actually mark out the entirety of the spawn chunks with on the server, which is 16 chunks in total. And when they go out into the ocean, obviously I can put a redstone torch on them. So Becca's house is just literally just on the inside of the spawn chunks here. So her house will always be loaded when there's no one on the server, 
which is why I've been building over the, here these factories. So if I now turn around and carry on out in a southwesterly direction, we go out past the where we had all the fun with the bees, trying to find them, and then off in the very distance across this chunk of water, this bit massive bay, we have these houses coming into view, which is a village, and right down here, if I press the right key, we have a little Halo Phoenix. Hello. 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 How are you? Yeah, you can't see me because I'm invisible right now. Yeah, hi. I'm in spectator mode. Hi. So you're busy working on these little houses and... Yeah, that's, that's my complete house. Your completed house is over here. <laughs> I'm just going to show everyone your very, very fancy diamond and lapis floor in here. I'm loving the, uh, the coral in the uh, item frame there, that looks really nice actually. So basically that's my little boathouse, so when people come along, that's my little... So like, I'm mind blown at how much diamond you have. <laughs> it's, 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 well, she does a lot of caving, that's all I'm saying. And you've... Strip mining. Yep. Yeah. And there's this little area over here, you've got some eggs. They haven't hatched yet, but we haven't had a lot of night cycles. We've been sleeping quite a lot, so someone needs to like hang around over here at night time. Yep, and the iceberg correctly puts out says that there's a lot of boats here. Yes, the boat party. <clears throat> and the little dock looks quite cute, as uh, oh, Enigma says. Thank you. It's really good. So I've got to like work out my coordinates here. So if I head out here in about a forty-five degree angle. I think I should be able to find my way. There's some of the shipwrecks that Beck has been seeing. Yep, literally at 45 degrees, heading uh, northwest, we come out to where Rady Cat's Island is. Which is looking pretty cool, I have to say, with the, the coral reef behind it. Oh! <laughs> and just as I said that, Rady Cat went to sleep. So she's got this little desert island here, which she's building up. I like where she's got, she's got one tree. And the ocean is all hers. Well, that's pretty cool. I've got 32 chunks loaded because my computer's got like a bit of grunt on it. I can literally just about see the mainland out there from where we came from. So it's fairly isolated out here. And I'm not sure where Rady Cat is. She's underground down here somewhere. But she looks like she's been uh, way away. But You're quite a way away, are you? Oh, uh, lots of lag. Lots of lag. That's lag. probably me loading the underworld as I looked underneath it. So let's TP round and have a look to see where you are. So we're going to to Ray first, I'm going to TP into where you are. <laughs> my poor oh, character is rowing this boat for like What's five that? days straight. <laughs> so, Rady Cat is currently having a fight with a guardian. Wow. And getting laser zapped yeah. by it. You had it in a boat there for a minute. Oh, it's now being chased by skeletons, but does appear to have found a dark oak forest. I'm passing by heroes, finally. <laughs> it's taking me this long. <laughs> so this is a pretty cool looking little area. So, Rady Cat's found this little bit of island here. I have no idea where we are in the world, but we'll have to like check this out. But there's all these uh, nasty guardians out here obviously trying to like keep her well clear of what is the temple that's out there the underwater temple which is pretty cool it actually looks really good from here this view i don't know if you can see it on the stream where you can have like the guardian sort of like trying to be threatening in the water there mm. 
what I'm going to do is stock off on axes. And if you could give me your coordinates, Ray, I'll come and get some wood. Okay. You can type it in chat if you want. I have no space for my boat. Oh no. I love the way with it. Yeah, Enigma says go cat. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way with, with um, you get the render distance really up. You actually almost like get a curvature. Yeah. It, it actually great. actually looks like a round world for once in the game. It's uh, pretty, pretty massive. Thank you. So we're all the way at 620 by 1300, which is a massive distance out from where we were at spawn. 1300 uh, blocks away from spawn. I've got a tree here, does not me? The only thing round thing in Minecraft, yeah, the world, which is almost infinite. <laughs> it's a real shame when you go off one end, you can't come back around the other way. Oh, I always get this weird. Wow, that's proper weird lag. Mm. They come back in. So here's Becker at house. So. Uh, oh, doing wow. a bit of teleporting. So oh, my I'm, cats are just spinning there. <laughs> I don't know if you know Becca, but did you did you realise you've got some visitors on your roof? Oh wow! <laughs> that is so funny. I did. I could hear them, and it's just like, where are they? And I was trying to suss it out. <laughs> <laughs> that is so random. Oh, the, Chris, what are the odds of that happening? Hit the clip button, Chris. <laughs> really, Out of guys. all the places for them to spawn, why am I? <laughs> it doesn't even sell that great stuff. <laughs> they never sell good stuff. We'll look good Turn as a camera's bottom now. Turn away, children. Oh no. He's gonna get down. Oh no, he nearly pulled them off with him. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, take the llamas. No. No? They can come after me. No. Oh, one down. I don't have a bow and arrow. <laughs> Gonna have to get in there and melee them. I <laughs> got him on a fishing rod. Oops. There he goes. He's still looking at you. He's still not happy. Oh. It's epic battle. Got it. Oh, I got a head. And you got a head. Hey. See, you can you can do what I do now. You can proudly put the head up in your house as a like a victory. I know. There we go. <laughs> there we go. You did not survive. I need to get the, like the pillar of dirt. <laughs> Thanks, oh, Chris. Did he drop the rope? Oh. Yes, he did. Yes. <laughs> That's the main reason for like killing him. I now you just get a big lump of earth stuck on the side of your house. Ah, uh, too high up. <laughs> Where is my mumbo head? My mumbo head. Oh, I'll just show you guys what. Look, do this at high speed. So, just so you know, so there there is one head over here. I put down this uh, little villager, uh, pillager banner and head as a sign to sort of like tell them to like clear off so I've got that one head there sort of wanted to like put them round sort of show 
and then if I come in here, let's go back into my survival mode. Go. Oop. Turn that back on. So in here we have the Ender Dragon's head. We have a couple of the what are these things? Ravengers. It's funny how in the game they're massive heads, but when they're actually like chopped off, they shrink. We've got a wandering tradesman there. We've got quite a few over here. There's my mumbo head, which we brought into the game. Um, I've got a. Is that, that's not a drowned, is it? I can't remember what they're called now. But yeah, we've got quite a few heads over here and a few banners and bits and pieces. So it looks pretty good. Yeah, we're definitely going to be collecting more heads as I go along. I did collect a, um, a llama head. It's in the uh, shop over there at the moment. But for now, guys, that is about it for me. Um, I'm going to drop off because me and Halo probably want to go and sort out some dinner now. Uh, and bits and pieces. I've had a busy day. So, a grey mumbo head. Yeah, it's actually an official, an official mumbo demised head that's over there. So I brought it in when it was, when he was still playing, when he was demised after he'd been killed. So everyone was in black and white. And, you know, I might bring in some of the other heads and stuff like that. But yeah, people will be able to buy heads as well in some of the shops. That's one of the things we're going to be doing. We're going to need to do some epic little shops and stuff. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, if you haven't already done so, please make sure you hit the follow button out there, guys. Also, make sure you come on our Discord channel. Uh, you can find that in the <laughs> descriptions down below me here. <laughs> Make him cook Halo. Don't oh, worry, thank, thanks, Enigma. <laughs> I might post a picture of it in Discord later. Make sure you're all over KFC, that. Then? Uh, no, I'm not <laughs> going to KFC. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, burn. Oh, Has anyone got any aloe vera, please? All right, so there's my Discord link in, in chat. Please come over there and have a look. Um, please also make sure you come and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well, guys, because I'm now putting out videos on how to create your own server like this, and I'm going to be putting loads of bits and pieces in there. But this is where you're going to be seeing all the testing happening here on the stream in Twitch. Uh, it's been really fun. It's been fun. It's been yeah, really nice it's to have other people better. here as well uh, nice to chat to. to yeah, it's yeah. really nice to have you there. Uh, I know Ray's been really quiet, in, you know, but your mic's been super quiet, hasn't it? I don't know if she can hear me with the lag on Discord. Yeah. You can hear me, but it's been fantastic to also have you in <laughs> here as well. Um, Ray's still fighting the Guardians there in the background, having loads of fun with them. Um, thanks very much, everyone, and this server will be going live soon. Yay. Thanks very much, guys. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.